Let's take a look at fractions on the TI-84 Plus uh, calculator. And uh, let me bring up a tablet here to get it ready. Okay. Let's take a look at our first problem. Uh, 40 over 72. And we want to simplify this uh, fraction. Well, fractions are very nice on the T83, T84 models. Um, to simplify this, I can do 40 divided by 72. And then if I press enter, you get decimal. To change any decimal to fraction, it's always math, enter, enter. So this reduces to 5 ninths. Now, I always show it in my class where um, uh, once it's in decimal, then change it, but you don't have to even wait that long. If I did uh, 40 divided by 72, and I automatically did math, enter, enter, because I know it's going to be a fraction, then you can uh, skip that, skip a step. Um, but again, I really focus on that math, enter, enter, change something from decimal to fraction. So that's what how I'll show it in this video. Our second one, we want to add these two fractions together. So we got uh, 1 over 36 plus 2 over 27. Well, we, I'm press clear to clear that screen. Pretty well type in as we see it. So we do 1 divided by 36 plus 2 divided by 27. Enter, and we get a decimal, and we'll do math, enter, enter. And that gives us 11 over 108. Our third problem. We're going to subtract fractions. So we've got 2 fifths minus 1 third. Again, I'm going to press clear to clear the screen. And we just type in as we see it. So 2 divided by 5 minus 1 divided by 3 enter and then math enter enter and that gives us one fifteenth our fourth problem multiplication we got uh, 14 over 21 times 9 over 7 so press clear to clear the screen 14 divided by 21 times 9 divided by 7. And then we'll do math, enter, enter. And we get 6 sevenths. Our fifth one. 20 uh, over 27 divided by 10 over 18. Now pretty much all the ones we've been seeing so far, you just uh, enter them as, as you see them and then that gives you your answer. This one's a little bit different. If you're dividing two fractions, you have to put parentheses around each fraction. So that's how we're going to plug it in. So do a clear if I do a beginning parentheses, 20 divided by 27. Closing parentheses divided by beginning parentheses, 10 divided by 18. Closing parentheses, enter, and then I'll do a math, enter, enter, to change it to fraction. So that gives us 4 thirds. Now compare that to um, putting it in without the parentheses. We've got 20. Uh, divided by 27, divided by 10, divided by 18. Um, if I press enter, see the decimal doesn't even match, so it's not going to be the right answer. Um, it's because uh, when we're dividing fractions, we're dividing this entire fraction by this entire fraction. And order operations uh, would not uh, do the same thing if we went across here. Um, because it would divide uh, 20 by 27 
and which is okay. That'd be my first fraction, but then I'd divide that by 10, uh, not by 18. Uh, so it magnifies it uh, the division a lot more if you don't put the parentheses. Now our last one. This is a, a complex fraction. Complex fraction is a fraction instead of a fraction. And this uh, goes back to our basic rule when we're working with fractions on a calculator. Press clear to clear that. If you ever have more than a single number or single variable on top of the bottom of your fraction, uh, then you put parentheses around it. So up here in the numerator, we have more than a single number or single variable, so I put parentheses around this. On the bottom here, we got more than a single number or single variable down here, so I put parentheses around that. Other than that, we pretty well enter it as we see it. So do a beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 3, plus 1 divided by 5, closing parentheses, divided by, beginning parentheses, 1 divided by 7, minus 2, closing parentheses, and then uh, enter. Now we get decimals, change decimal to fraction, we do math, enter, enter. And our answer is negative 56 over 195. And that's working with fractions on a TA4 plus calculator.